Hi guys, so I am cooking our dinner for tonight, which is going to include um, some salmon or salmon, however you would like to pronounce it, with some asparagus and some sweet potatoes, right? All right, so I already have my sauce making for my sweet potatoes because I'm pretty much gonna make them into yams and I'm gonna put them in my dish bowl. Um, and then for the salmon, I'm gonna show you guys the recipe that I use pretty much. It's like the bourbon glaze, very popular, but it's so good. Um, and then I particularly get the salmon that is skin free just so that way I don't have to skin it. Um, and it makes it much easier for when I put it in um, my big container. So stay tuned. I will show you guys what I'm cooking and how I do it and the end result and all that good stuff. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start my sweet potatoes. So I have sliced and diced them as nicely as I can. I'm um, trying to hurry up and get this cooked because husband and I already called me like, hey, is the food done? No, like it's not. <laughs> I still need to uh, prep it. So what I'm gonna do is, this is my pretty much butter. Um, butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, a little bit of salt, a little bit of honey, and dark brown sugar. So, it's very simple, dark brown sugar. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on top. I don't measure, I'm one of those cooks. I wouldn't even leave myself a cook, but I'm one of those people that <laughs> I don't measure. I do not measure. Kevin, on the other hand, will measure. Um, he will measure everything to the T. Um, let me get my eyes. Okay, and then we're just gonna pour this on top. together it's a little ooey gooey right now just because I let it sit I should have probably cooked like heated it up to say the least because usually when you put the butter and the sugar together it's real like liquidy right but this is gonna get liquidy so we're gonna improvise right now We're just gonna mix that together. How are you doing? Oh, hi, I'm cooking. I'm uh huh. You having fun outside? Uh, no. No, you weren't. I was fun outside. Oh goodness, and you weren't having fun outside? I yeah, thought you were buying your ATV. Oh, y'all yeah, smell like outside. Y'all need to get out the kitchen. All right, so that's it so far. Now it is time for the salmon and I'm going to put it in this dish right here, which is literally what I want to show you guys. It literally consists of soy sauce, minced garlic, um, some honey, and again, dark brown sugar. Um, so I just put all that in my pan and now I'm about to go ahead and cut up my salmon. Um, now you guys saw it was a large salmon, so I'm gonna cut this and see how much space we have and then probably add the rest into it or if not store it um but yeah so this recipe is definitely for moms who just want to put it in the oven like when i mean put it in the oven i mean just put it in the oven and go sit down and relax because right now kevin is outside with cairo while i'm able to cook so that way i can prepare everything um and i plan on joining them so my goal is to get this done in 30 minutes prep time and go ahead and stick it in the oven go outside let that come, let that cook, and then probably check it on it in like 15 minutes, you know, turn everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up, put it in this dish right here, stick it in the oven. Sweet potatoes already in the oven, and the only thing I gotta do next is season the asparagus, which honestly doesn't even take long to cook, so be done very soon. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, as you guys can see. I definitely put as much as I could in there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and season my asparagus, put it in the oven. I'm using, very simple, some classic olive oil, drizzle some of that on there with some Italian seasoning, garlic powder, I love. 
and a little badia. This is my favorite. I season this with literally everything and asparagus can get it too. So, and then um, some Himalayan pink salt. So it's literally as simple as that. Simple as that. I'm going to go ahead and drizzle that on there, season it up real quick, put it in the oven, and dinner's done. Like it's in the oven. So if I could do it, you could do it too. So all you gotta do is tell your boo, tell your husband, tell whoever. When you got the kids, take them outside, make sure they're occupied. Give me 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and you can get this done. Everything's prepped now. Probably cook time probably take around 30 to 45 minutes, probably a little bit more than that, depending on how you like it. And you're gonna come back in and obviously flip it and turn it and all that good stuff. But, um, and I do have the oven on 390, so I cook my stuff a little up. Listen, I don't go by the books, okay? I don't follow recipes. I do my own little spin on things. I mean, the fact that I'm even sharing with y'all my secrets, but no. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this meal. And of course, pictures will be posted in regards to the end result and all that good stuff so hopefully you guys try this meal out it's very simple it's very tasty and it's really good for you right got your salmon good protein alongside your good carbohydrate which is your sweet potato but i know i didn't jazz it up so i didn't took away all the good stuff out of it um and then asparagus so yeah all right hope you guys enjoyed this video like subscribe comment oh please comment comment if you like it if you don't like it or you know if you any suggestions i'm so open for suggestions like a lot of the stuff that i cook at home i find on social media like i follow cooking pages and i recreate or i try to put my own little spin on it but i love to cook when i have the time to cook but i cook pretty much every day to say the least um so yeah if you guys have any recipes you want to share with me or something that you think i, uh, I should try like or if you want me to cook it i'm gonna i uh, want to put that out there just yet but um yeah so if you like it again like subscribe and comment yes i've been waiting for you i love some slow music some slow jams and this station that i'm listening to has a mixture of that let alone like it's artists that people don't even know about but they're hits they're hits for sure but again i don't own the rights to any of their music or anything like that i just like a good music good vibe while i'm cooking so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i've already talked long enough bye guys